Hi guys, Skinny Pigs one here. So today's video is about getting our guinea pigs to like us. So I say that jokingly. A lot of times I hear people say my guinea pig quote hates me, which isn't true. Guinea pigs are just shy creatures, cautious by nature since they are prey animals, and it takes patience and understanding and time on our part to help them learn that we are okay. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I make new guinea pig videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So let's start off with number one. The best thing you can do for your guinea pig is get them a buddy or even have them live in a small herd. Guinea pigs feel safety and security in numbers. They're social creatures and naturally in the wild they live in herds. A lone pig can be very shy and very scared and nervous. A pig with a buddy or even a couple friends really blossoms and they feed off of each other to learn how things are okay. So if you take a really shy pig and put them in with a group of a very social group, so like Rum Raisin in my case, once she joined the herd, she has gone leaps and bounds towards being a more social and calm pig. So it really helps and is super important to have a buddy. Number two, it's really important to have a safe place for your guinea pig to hide in their cage. So their cage is their home. They want somewhere to go if they hear a scary noise or to sleep peacefully and not feel like they need to be on alert. So for CNC cages, what I love to do is use those fleece forests that drape over the top and then kind of hang down. It gives a really nice open secure area. You can use like the little piggy huts, domes. You can use tunnels. There's a whole bunch of things you can use, cardboard boxes even, but they definitely need a place to go to hide to feel safe if they're ever nervous or scared. Hi baby apple. Are you sleeping too? Are you really tired? Is it nap time in piggy world? Number three, it's super important for us to let our guinea pig get used to us on their time. So something I do is talk to them lots move very slowly. I might put my hand in the cage to allow them to come up and sniff my hand. I will reach into the cage to do hand feeding and I can attempt at those times to see if I can gently stroke their head. If your guinea pig starts to run away from you when you go to pet them, please do not go chase them around. You want them to know that as soon as they move away from you that you're going to back down, that you're not chasing them. Because chasing them to see be like, hey, no, I want to pet you, come back, come back. You're just going to instill that fear that they need to run from you. Where I find what works awesome is as soon as they start to leave you, you just let them go. And then they usually come back around because they realize you're not chasing them. So I think that's a really important tip. You do not want them to feel like they're being chased and you're putting yourself upon them when they don't want your attention. Hi, girls. How is everybody? Hi, Pecan. Hey, Rudy. So number four, I touched on it a little bit. Hand feeding is an excellent tool to get them to be used to you. You can hand feed their pellets, their hay, pieces of vegetable. You can pick out pieces of grass, some herbs. Reaching in the cage with a piece of food and holding it very still for very shy pigs works great. They'll slowly walk up to you, start nibbling from your hand. At this time, they're gonna be smelling your scent. You can talk to them softly, and they're going to associate you with bringing food and being a positive thing. It can take a while for some pigs to build up the confidence to come and take the food from your hand, but they'll quickly learn that when you're reaching in with something, that it's okay to grab it. Here, sweetheart. So number five, an excellent thing is to do a secure lap time. So maybe take out a blanket, like a little fleece blanket, put them in securely where they feel safe, feel comfortable, and sit with them on a couch or sit with them on the floor. And you can even take their buddy with them. Some pigs, when you take them away from their friend, they're quite nervous. So do a buddy lap time snuggle. Pet them softly, talk to them, 
Again, you can put some vegetables for them to snack on. And I kind of gear it off of the pig's um, personality, whether they really like to snuggle for a long time or some pigs are just for a couple minutes and they want to go back. So you kind of have to read their what they're kind of telling you. If they're getting anxious or nervous, I would just put them back. So this is something you could do with them every single day just for a few minutes or however long they tolerate and then put them back. You do want to have a lap pad if they're going to be out for like 10 minutes or longer because guinea pigs will pee and poop on you if they have to. How's your cilantro? Is that good little Rudy? Mm -hmm. Pretty girl. So number six, the biggest thing that I can tell you guys is it takes time. We can't expect them to trust us right away. Depending where you've got them, they're in a brand new home, brand new environment, new smells, new sounds, new people to get used to, new voices. It can take them time to adjust and it takes them time to takes time for them to trust us. Some pigs are naturally more outgoing, some are shyer. For my pigs, I have all varying degrees of super social to still timid and you can't expect your timid pigs to ever be super social. So you just kind of take what you get and don't put expectations on them. Just let them change and grow at whatever speed that they can. Some really good points are they thrive with routine and predictability. Since they are prey animals and can be quite skittish, if they know what time veggies are, what time you're cleaning their cage, what time you're doing this and that, that really helps them to get used to it so there's no surprises that could spook or scare them. So I find my guinea pigs with their set routine, they know what's going on. They know that what night is cage cleaning night and when I start to clean the cage that nothing scary is going to happen. They know in the morning that's when they get their veggies so everybody is all up at the bars. So once you get a routine established, that really helps towards them taming too. So I find sticking with your routine is pretty important so that they're not caught off guard. So anyway, hopefully that helps, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.